Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been a quiet night. Skies have been clear. It's been pretty warm. Temperatures been holding steady in the 80s and lower 90s. You can see not many clouds to speak of. Cloud cover down to the south of us a little bit earlier this evening, but most of that activity has kind of faded away. And now with the clear skies, we're starting to see temperatures slowly cool off. We've got 87 degrees right now in Waco. It is 92 still in Colleen, 91 degrees in Temple, 89 down in College Station. So some areas still seeing some uh, temperatures in the 90s. Our humidity has been getting a little bit lower, which is some good news when it comes to our heat index. But right now our air temperature is the same as about a heat index. So 87 here in Waco, and that's what it feels like at this hour uh, for the most part. It's just bumped up here, actually up to 90. Uh, 90 degrees, 95 in Temple, as well as Colleen, 91 up in the Gatesville area. Wanted to show you the drought monitor again. This is the update uh, once a week. It comes out on Thursdays, and you can see now parts of McLennan County included in that. That is in the dry category right now on the drought monitor, but you'll work your way over toward Coriel County, Lampasas County, back over to Bell County, all of Bell County. We are in the moderate right now for the dry, uh, the dryness that we've been seeing here. And again, no rains in the forecast here for the next week or so. So uh, we still need to see some moisture across the region. Granted, we're still on the plus side from the beginning of the year, but we need to see some rain here across our area. Burn bands, they're starting to go up. You can see as you work your way over toward Robertson County and then back over to Bell County, kind of tailing over toward Lampasas, Burnett, Llano, and Saba, up toward Mills County. And that is Hamilton County as well as Comanche County, all under burn bands at this time. That's because not only are we looking at the dry conditions out there, uh, we do have some uh, lower humidity and some stronger winds. So again, burning is not allowed. Now back here, here. I wish I could show you some rainfall that's going to be uh, moving our way in our future cast, but nothing. Maybe a few more clouds and tomorrow morning will not be as cloudy as it was this morning here. We've got a little shift in our wind pattern, so I do think partly to mostly clear skies. Temperatures in the 70s to start and then as we go throughout the morning, mostly sunny skies. High temperatures climbing into the low, maybe the mid 90s as soon as lunchtime, but as we hit the afternoon, how's we'll kind of top out around 98, 99 degrees here in Waco, down toward Colleen, 98 in the Temple, 95 down toward College Station. Granted, a little bit more humidity will be down there, and that's why temperatures will be a little bit slower to warm up, but still looking at readings running just a little bit above average for this time of the year. And then late Friday, into Saturday, we're going to see some more clouds moving. Now, a better chance of maybe partly to mostly cloudy skies to kick off your weekend. Temperatures in the 70s. As we go throughout the day on Saturday, we'll call it partly cloudy skies. I think at times, though, these are going to be some high clouds. Any moisture is well south and east of the Brazos Valley, but with those clouds on top of us, that should keep temperatures down just a little bit. And you know what? We will take just a little bit mid 90s instead of uh, the 100s here in our region. As for tonight though, just a few clouds around, otherwise mostly clear skies. We dropped to 77 degrees and then tomorrow mostly sunny skies, 99 for the high. There's our heat index at 103 degrees. As we look at the long range 10 day forecast, sunny and dry weather right on through the weekend. Again, a mix of sun and clouds just about every day with the clouds in the morning, the sunshine mainly in the afternoon, high temperatures running just a little bit above average, a bunch of 97s here across the region. By the tail end of next week, though, slightly cooler weather is uh, trying to show up here. The weather models are trying to indicate some kind of little trough or a little disturbance on Friday and Saturday. So I threw in a 20% chance on Friday and Saturday. Don't bank on it right now. You're still going to need to water the grass and the flowers. Nighttime lows in the mid to upper 70s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Kind of the same thing. Our rain chances maybe are a little bit longer from Tuesday to next weekend, but only a 20% chance. High temperatures for sure, mid to upper 90s, which Adam is actually where we should be for this time of the year. You know, they call these the dog days of summer. This is right on cue.